All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 15th of November. Man, where did the month go? It's already halfway over. Well, that's what happens when you're out drinking almost every night. And you know, the end of the year is on fast forward here at the Wine Watch, anyways. And you know what the end of November means? Our champagne tasting. That's right. Every year, the weekend before Thanksgiving, we put on a big blowout champagne tasting. And we have got over 50 champagnes and sparkling wines. They make great sparkling wine all over the world today, not just France, but, you know, the French people do have the lion's share of the greatest sparkling wine on the face of the earth. And, hey, many of these uh, great sparkling wines made outside of France are made by French companies. You know, the largest sparkling wine producer in Argentina is Domaine Chandon. Well, it could be Pascal Toso. Pascal Toso is pretty big, too. But still, these guys are all over the world today, these French champagne makers, and uh, making some really high-quality method champenoise sparkling wine. That is the most important thing to remember about champagne and other high-quality sparkling wines is the process by which it's made. You know, cold duck and all this other cheap sparkling wine that's out there for $10 or less in the marketplace, you know, they make those wines the same way they make soda pop. Some of them, they just put carbonation in them, and you can tell by the bubbles. The ones with little tiny bubbles are made with a method champenoise. And the difference is they undergo the secondary fermentation in the bottle that you're drinking out of. So they put a little yeast, they put a little sugar after they've made the base wine in the blend, and then they put the wine upside down in these riddling racks. Well, actually, they have a gyro plate. Most people use these electronic uh, devices now to riddle the wines. And all that sediment gets concentrated down at the neck of the bottle. And a lot of times they leave these wines entourage by law. I think it's 15 months now in France, but a lot of people are longer than that, 18 months, a minimum for a lot of quality producers. Some people three or five years when you're talking about prestige cuvées like Cristal. Yes, that's right. We're going to be pouring Cristal at this tasting. It's only 45 bucks. Holy cow. Well, you get like 50 champagnes. This is the greatest value of any tasting we do all year long. It is a walk-around event. We're going to have the courtyard open also. And, uh, sorry, where was I? I was talking about the making of champagne. The reason why these wines are so good, 18 months entourage, they, they sit in contact with the yeast, which gives them a really lovely richness uh, to the nose and to the palate, a little toasty, yeasty, kind of biscuity note to it from the yeast. And then they put them in a freezing cold ice bath. They freeze the little bit of uh, liquid that's in the in the top of the neck here. They pop that out and then add the dosage to the wines, a little bit of sugar or sweet liqueur to give the wine sweetness. You know, champagne is very far north. So the wines have got a high acidity naturally to them. They need a little sugar to balance them out. I know that there's a lot of people making these Brut Natur wines, these Brut Zero wines that have no dosage to them at all. But to me, if I'm drinking a fine champagne, I want it to have a little dosage because of the balance. Hey, those extra Brut's go nice with food. And we do have a few of them in the store. But the lion's share of the stuff that we have is going to be brut, which means it has a little bit of sugar added into it at the end to balance out that sharp acidity. Like I said, we've got over 50 sparkling wines on the table all over the store in the courtyard. And of course, Wine Watch Catering will be putting out some champagne with Bellinis and caviar, of course, and some other small treats for you to snack on while you're here. So make your reservations. We only take 75 reservations for this event. I think there's already 50 people signed up for it. A week from tonight at the store here, our annual champagne and sparkling wine tasting. Check out the list of champagnes and sparklers we're tasting on this email. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.